Do you love the iPhone 17 Pro's two-tone aluminum and glass design? Don't get too used to it. GS Securities tech analyst Jeff Poo, who has a reliable track record of sleuthing through the supply chain to predict what Apple is working on, says next year's iPhone 18 Pro series will have two defining features that differentiate it from the iPhone 17 Pro slash 17 Pro Max that just launched in September. According to a source viewed by 9to5Mac, Apple could finally trim down the dynamic island, the pill-shaped kitout that makes up the front-facing camera and true depth sensor for Face ID. The dynamic island debuted in the iPhone 14 Pro in 2022. Unlike standard hole-punch selfie cameras on Android phones, Apple astonished everyone with its ability to show notifications and live activities such as music controls, timers, and ride-sharing arrival and food delivery schedules. The dynamic island isn't going away, it's just getting smaller, according to Pew, and thank heavens, since it's considerably more obtrusive than the notch on prior iPhones. Don't believe me? Just go view videos in full screen and a lot of apps, and note how they all optimize for the dynamic island differently. Some show the kit out as a black pill, others just shrink the movie smaller to avoid it or fit partially around it. Pooh, sadly, didn't mention how much smaller the Dynamic Island will be on the iPhone 18 Pro series, so we'll have to wait until next fall. The other widely predicted modification for the iPhone 18 Pro is a tweak to the two-tone design. Apple is apparently intending to modify the glass cutout to make it integrate more with the aluminum frame matching the anodized metal better. While this won't affect at all users who wear a case, the cutout, most evident on the silver iPhone 17 Pros, has felt the touch out of place. The glass pane is important for wireless charging, but it doesn't make for a seamless design. Pew is also anticipating Apple to introduce the iPhone 17e, an upgrade of the iPhone 16e in mid Q126, which would presumably premiere in the spring. The cheaper iPhone 17 could have an N19 chip and an 18 megapixel center stage camera, two features in the iPhone 17. Both would be remarkable because the SE and the E iPhones are normally devices with several generations old parts to keep pricing low. With Tim Cook apparently preparing to quit the CEO role, Apple's future has never been more unknown. Perhaps it's time to literally switch things up. According to the South Korean research agency The Bell, the standard iPhone 18 will come with 12 gigs of RAM, mirroring the memory capacity that has so far been limited to Apple's Pro models. This represents the first time in Apple's history that it has decreased the performance gap between its regular and Pro iPhone models, especially in terms of memory and system optimization. The enhanced RAM will be combined with next-generation LPDDR5X memory boasting a six-channel design, delivering more bandwidth, greater power economy, and increased overall performance. Sources claim that this upgrade is necessary to support the expanding range of Apple Intelligence AI functions, which demand higher processing power and memory. These include live translation, visual intelligence, and considerable upgrades to series capabilities. For users, the change to 12 gigs of RAM across all iPhone 18 models is likely to solve a long-standing issue about Apple's base iPhones being hampered by artificial memory constraints, which sometimes forced programs to reload frequently and depleted the battery faster. Analysts believe this update will lead to a smoother and more efficient user experience. While some supply chain reports suggest Apple might reconsider this upgrade if component availability becomes an issue, most insiders expect 12 gigs of RAM to become the new standard for all iPhones starting in 2026, keeping Apple competitive in a market where higher memory capacities are becoming the norm. Apple is recognized for delivering outstanding hardware and software on its phones, but one area where it's particularly weak is AI. Compared to Google's Gemini and other AI services like ChatGPT, Apple's attempts just can't compete. Therefore, this area is in dire need of some upgrades. Of course, since AI is primarily software, any enhancements may conceivably arrive to existing iPhones anyhow, but the iPhone 18's higher specifications could allow an AI overhaul to really shine. Thankfully, it appears like we might receive some substantial upgrades before too long, but they might not be down to Apple themselves. Rather, Apple will reportedly employ a bespoke version of Google's Gemini to power Siri's long-awaited AI overhaul. This upgrade might land in March or April, according to rumors,
thus before the September-bound iPhone 18 series. But again, this is expected to be faster, smoother, and generally at its best on the iPhone 18 series, and we may well see certain iPhone 18-specific AI features that require next-generation hardware to work at all. When it comes to the batteries and charging capabilities on Apple's phones, there's a lot of space for improvement. The major thing we'd like to see is greater capacity batteries, especially since Chinese phones like the 7,300 milliamps OnePlus 15 are racing way ahead. Right now, the biggest iPhone battery is only slightly over 5,000 milliamps, so we'd want to see a significant jump in capacity for the iPhone 18 series, and ideally, that would be achieved by employing silicon carbon batteries. This technology is what OnePlus and some companies have utilized to obtain such high-capacity batteries, as it allows for a bigger capacity in the same space, so phones don't have to get thicker. So, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting tech news and updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.